Hello everyone, Werewolf here for my very first episode of A Wacky Wednesday, and today we are going to be doing Dream Daddy, the Dad Rector's Cut. Um, I don't know exactly what to expect on this game. I know it's made by the Game Grumps. I haven't heard anything about it, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get started. Uh, new game. <coughs> Dad? Dad, wake up! Uh, let's give me five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago. And also ten minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm laying in the middle of the living room. Spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Ugh. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Dad tip number 86. I always try your best at everything. <coughs> Build that dad. Alright. Let's see what we can come up with. How about, uh... No, we're gonna go with that. Uh, I want a shadow. Yeah, we'll give him a shadow. I'm gonna go with, uh... Orangey color hair and kind of wave, wavy hair. We got these eyes and give some green eyes. No, no, too, no, too crooked. Too pointy. Now let's give him a basic nose. I think he can stick with that mouth. We'll go with like these eyebrows. Make sure the hair matches. And. No, that doesn't look good. There we go. We'll go with that. That for glasses and... Go with some piercings and how about a... Uh... <coughs> how about a skull and daggers? Dad. How about um we'll be, be that, that dad. We'll be that dad. Dad tech number forty eight, eat plenty of carbs and the night before a big game. When lifting weights, use proper form. Aw, oh, I didn't read him. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo All albums. Right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Uh, the only way your mother and I get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Mm -hmm. Why do you remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right. Yep. Definitely repressed that memory. <clears throat> and this was you in your horse face. Uh. Dad. 
I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Hmm. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. Ah. The ska communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Yes, I'm a P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <coughs> Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. All oh, right, Emma P was the one who. Um, did she fire a flaming tennis ball at the police station? Lighter fluid tennis ball tennis racket, right? Yeah. Dad, that was you. Oh. All right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda. I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Aww. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Huh. Anyway, I gotta show this to MR later. She'll get a kick out of it. First photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. Yeah. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. <gasps> Dad. Still can't drive past McFriday's without gagging. Huh. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down, deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. <gasps> Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long time. I finally decided to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her. She says, it's okay. It's gonna, it's all gonna be okay. Oh. She was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Oh. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. I don't, I don't see our house. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Ah. Hey, remember when I broke that? Back window play. We get it, Amanda. You break stuff, huh. and there'll be plenty more stuff, more stuff for me to break at the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will never, it will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. Moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car in a position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in a rearview mirror. So, so what? Mm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... That's right, you heard me. A garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars as well as room for all my very important dad tools and my motorcycle my sick hog hmm. the old steel pony dad's little motor velocipede Ugh. dad the two wheel transportation station dad I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life and to be honest I'm afraid of them anyway it's also smaller than our last house cozier one might argue good spin I think it's great. 
won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know, Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior... Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install a washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, go to your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so huh. proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Um, as much as I would also like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make a snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box that's blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real bad. Yeah. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks, stand in your way. Let's get to it. Dad tip number 25, drink plenty of water. Speaking of. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Oh. A handsome clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Kyle. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, But between you and me, she just sprinkled on the chocolate chips. Good one. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Uh. Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come... Oh, and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. Uh, I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh... I meant... Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Yeah. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. 
Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Uh, yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? Ah. Uh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Um... How about some coffee? I'm feeling a little sluggish and coffee seems like a more responsible option than just taking a nap. I'm proud of you. Huh. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Yeah. Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Mm. What's wrong? Why wouldn't I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my couch and not have to make awkward eye, eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's very much within my personal zone. Huh? Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on a counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, there is in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Uh. Inside of a coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey, uh, Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. Well, people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So what'll it be? I scan the chalkboard menu and, immedi and am Im immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Uh, Uh, how about a chai ant? Spicy? I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die Ant Word is a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative Im imagery and hyper-stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Hey. I'm doing the thing again. Hey. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Uh -huh. Coming right up. You want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium? Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets out, sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey, hey. Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with take talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I immediately burn the roof off my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad Kyle. Hey. 
Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Uh oh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey! You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey, yeah. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with, uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. All right. This is amazing. Hey, uh, Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Um, let's go with the banana bread Kennedys. You know, like the punk band? I thought you said you only knew dad band puns. I'm a hard dad. Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Oh. Yeah. Banana bread Kennedys. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I shouldn't leave saying baby to the, Just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See? Sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? How about, uh... Let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Alright. I'm gonna save right here. I'm gonna finish this episode off at this point before we decide to go somewhere else. So it looks like we have met a couple people in our new neighborhood. We have moved into our new house. Uh, we drank some, I guess, some decent coffee and name some banana bread for us or for the guy at this place hopefully we helped him out um that is it for now guys uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep playing this game but we'll see how things go um hit the little bell down there so you can stay notified no bleh, notified when i post some videos and uh, I have a feeling this was definitely a good one for Wacky Wednesday. So we will see you guys next time.